Neville Goddard Teaching, written and published by Angus Life. The world around you is connected to you in every way. Your inner state shows through. It's like a mirror of your thoughts and feelings. Every person, every situation, and every experience you meet comes from your own imagination. You might think this is a strong statement, but as you explore this teaching more, you'll start to notice its truth in your own life. Think about the last time you reached a goal or made something you wanted happen. It started as an idea in your mind before it became real. You thought about it, experienced it in your mind, and then it became real outside of you. This is the core of creation, turning ideas into reality, bringing what is unseen into sight. Lesson 1. Imagination Creates Reality Imagination is more than just daydreaming or hoping for something. It is a strong, imaginative energy that, when used properly, can change your whole life. To really use your imagination, you need to involve all your senses. Imagine what you want clearly. Listen to the related sounds. Feel the different textures. Notice the smells and savor the flavors. The clearer you can picture it in your mind, the easier it will become a part of your real life. As you start to understand this idea, you might think about how far this creative ability can go. There are no limits, only those you set for yourself. Your imagination has no limits and can create possibilities that go beyond what you see around you. Great inventions, masterpieces, and transformed lives come from boundless imagination. With a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility. Your imagination is always active, even if you don't realize it. Every worry, fear, and doubt you have is like a seed in the garden of your mind. Pay attention to your thoughts and feelings so you can take care of your mental space. To fully use your imagination, you need to first trust that it works. Uncertainty hinders creativity. Doubting leads to mixed thoughts in your mind, weakening your imagination's strength. Have complete faith in the reality you want to create, and don't let any opposing thoughts settle in. Practicing is important for improving this skill. Begin with small, realistic goals and gradually move on to bigger ones. When you notice the outcomes of your visualizations appearing in your life, your belief in this method will increase, enabling you to take on larger and more daring projects. The world you see is not just happening to you. It is reacting to you. Everyone and everything in your life mirrors your own awareness. This knowledge helps you take charge of your life and be involved in shaping it. Pay attention to what you tell yourself and the pictures you create in your mind throughout the day. Do they match the reality you want to create? If that's not the case, kindly steer your thoughts and feelings towards what you want to achieve. This isn't about making yourself think positively. It's about actively selecting the reality you want to live in. Imagination goes beyond just making things or reaching goals. It plays a strong role in influencing your relationships, your health, your self-esteem, and your overall life experience. Picture relationships full of love, good health, strong confidence, and a life brimming with joy and meaning. When you keep these images and feelings in mind, you'll notice that your outside world starts to match them. Creating something using your imagination takes time. It takes time, effort, and belief. Like a seed that takes time to grow into a plant, your thoughts and ideas also need time to become real in your life. Have faith in the journey, understanding that the universe is constantly helping to turn your dreams into reality. As you get better at using your imagination to shape your reality, you'll notice a big change in how you see life. Challenges can help us grow. Obstacles can lead us to success, and limitations fade away when we see endless possibilities. Your imagination is more than just something for yourself. It's a special ability that helps you make a positive impact on the world. Imagine a better world, think of solutions to global problems, and create art that inspires and lifts people up. Your imagination can change your life and also influence many others. When you accept that your imagination shapes your reality, you take on the role of the writer of your own life story. You are now an active participant in your life, not just someone who watches things happen or lets events control you. You are the one who creates, 
directs, and plays the lead role in the story of your life. This understanding brings both great freedom and responsibility. Lesson 2. Assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. To manifest what you want, focus on your own mind rather than the outside world. Feeling as if your wish is already fulfilled helps you connect with the core of creation as our inner feelings shape the reality we live in. This important idea, key to Neville Goddard's teachings, encourages us to look into how our imagination and feelings can change our lives. When we believe that our wish is already fulfilled, we are not just daydreaming or hoping for something to happen. We are connecting with the creative energy around us. This alignment isn't just about thinking positively. It's about truly feeling and living the state we want to experience. It is a change in who we are, a realignment of our inner self that shows up in the world around us. Think about what it really feels like to believe that your wish has already come true. It's not enough to just picture or say your goal. You need to fully feel the emotions of achieving it. How would you feel if your biggest dream came true right now? What feelings would you experience in your body? How would your view of the world change? These questions are important. They are the keys to unlocking the power of manifestation. To feel as if your wish has come true, you need to set aside any doubts. We need to be ready to put aside what we're dealing with right now and create a new reality for ourselves. Believing in what we can't see is what makes a difference between just dreaming and actually making those dreams real. When you start to apply this principle, you might face some pushback from your logical thinking. It might complain, listing all the reasons why what you want seems unlikely or difficult. Imagination has no limits set by the physical world. In your mind, you can explore any reality you want. Your inner experience can change your outer world. When your wish comes true, it's not just a temporary feeling. It's a way of being. It is a steady understanding, a calm assurance that influences all parts of your life. When you really embrace this feeling, you'll see a change in your thoughts, your actions, and even how you carry yourself. You will start to act as if what you want has already happened. And by doing this, you connect with the energy of making it real. The strength of this practice comes from being gentle and open, not from pushing or forcing. Let yourself experience the happiness, the comfort, and the thrill of getting what you want. Make it your new, normal, your usual way of being. As you proceed, you'll notice that your outside world starts to change, often in ways you didn't expect or plan for just by trying hard. Feeling as if your wish is already fulfilled frees you from having to manage every little detail of how it comes to be. There's no need to figure out how your wishes will come true. Just focus on feeling like they already have. The universe will create the right conditions to help your wishes come true. This idea goes beyond what we want personally and includes how we relate to and interact with other people. When we imagine that our wishes about our relationships are already true, we start to act as if the people in our lives have the qualities we want them to have. When we change how we see and act, it often leads to a change in how others feel and behave towards us. As you practice feeling like your wish is already fulfilled, you might notice that your desires start to change. What used to feel like the main goal might not seem as important when you see the new opportunities that come your way. This is a normal part of growing, as your broader awareness brings in more experiences and chances. Believing that your wish is already fulfilled is a journey of learning about yourself and making things happen. It encourages you to look into your mind, to challenge what you think can happen, and to play a part in creating your own reality. When you start this practice, you'll see that life turns into an exciting journey filled with endless opportunities and happy surprises. Keep in mind, the emotion is the key. It connects what you imagine with what you can see and touch. When you learn to feel as if your wish has already come true, you open the door to a life filled with abundance, happiness, and endless possibilities. Focus on the feeling of your desires coming true. Let it fill you completely and see how the world around you changes to reflect your inner feelings. You have the ability to create the life you want, and it starts with the straightforward act of feeling as if your wish has already come true. Lesson 3. The world outside reflects your inner state. 
The world you see is not just how it is, but a reflection of what's in your own mind. This important idea, central to Neville Goddard's teachings, helps you understand your existence and the ability you have to shape your reality. Your experiences, encounters, and situations in life reflect your inner feelings and mindset. Think back to the last time you felt really upset. What did the world look like to you back then? People might seem ruder, obstacles might feel harder to overcome, and life might seem more difficult overall. Think back to a moment when you felt really happy and hopeful. In that state, didn't the world look brighter? People seem kinder and opportunities feel more plentiful. The outside world stayed the same. It was your view of it that changed, influenced by how you felt inside. This idea goes well beyond just how we see things. Your inner state, including your thoughts, beliefs, assumptions, and feelings, shapes the world around you. It's like showing a film on the screen of your life, and that film is written by your thoughts. The people you meet, the situations you experience, and the winds and struggles you go through all come from within you. This idea is freeing because it gives you the ability to make changes yourself. If you don't like what you see around you, there's no need to fight against what's happening outside. Focus on yourself and change the source, your own awareness. How does this work? The process involves the imaginative power of your mind along with your feelings. When you picture a situation and fill it with emotion, you are starting a process in your subconscious mind. Your attention and belief help this seed grow into something real in your life. Think about someone who strongly feels that they cannot be loved. This belief, usually developed during childhood, shapes how they see all their interactions. They might unknowingly drive people away, misunderstand real love as sympathy or trickery, or draw in partners who support their views. Their surroundings show and support their belief that they are unlovable. Now picture this person understanding that what they see around them mirrors how they feel inside. They start to change how they see themselves picturing and feeling what it would be like to be truly loved and valued. As they continue with this new idea, their behavior gradually changes. They become more open, more ready to accept love, and better at seeing real affection. Their relationships change slowly, showing how they feel inside. This idea is relevant to all areas of your life, money, health, job, and relationships. Your beliefs will show up in your experiences. If you think the world is unfriendly, you'll see signs of unfriendliness all around you. If you think there are few opportunities, you will have a hard time discovering them. Change your mindset to focus on abundance, love, and opportunity, and see how your surroundings change to reflect that. This isn't about just thinking positively or convincing yourself of things that don't feel real. It's about understanding that reality can change and that you have a part in shaping your own experience. It's about realizing that what you see as being outside of you is actually a reflection of what is inside you. This understanding comes with a significant responsibility. Your outer world shows what's happening inside you, so you are responsible for what you experience in life. This can be a tough realization, especially when dealing with hard situations. But it's also very empowering. You are in control of your own future, not dependent on outside influences. Begin by noticing what you currently believe about yourself and the world around you. What beliefs do you have that could be causing negative experiences? What thoughts are you having that might be affecting your life in ways you don't want? Next, make a clear choice about the assumptions you want to guide your life. To feel more love, believe that you are truly lovable. To attract more abundance, believe that wealth comes to you effortlessly. To improve your health, believe that your body is healthy and powerful. Keep in mind, you're not trying to persuade yourself of anything. You're deciding to live from a new way of being. As you start using these new ideas, notice how you feel. Feeling is truly the key, as Neville Goddard frequently highlighted. It's not just about understanding an idea. You need to truly feel its reality. Feel as if you are already being, doing, or having what you want. Allow this feeling to fill you, influencing your thoughts, words, and actions. Stay calm and keep trying. Like a seed needs time to grow into a full plant, 
Your new inner state may also need time to show up in your outer world. Believe in the process, understanding that just like night comes after day, your external reality will reflect your inner feelings. As your surroundings start to change, showing your new feelings inside, you may face times of uncertainty or old habits trying to come back. This is normal. When this happens, kindly remind yourself of the truth. You have the power in your life and your thoughts shape your reality. Everyone and everything around you is a reflection of yourself. The people you meet and the situations you face show what's going on in your mind. This knowledge can change how you relate to others and engage with them. Rather than attempting to change others or resist situations, concentrate on altering your inner feelings. As you continue, you'll notice the world around you changing in surprising ways. Living by this principle means being fully responsible for your life experience. It means understanding that you are not just a victim of what happens to you, but you are the one who writes your own life story. It means realizing that at every moment, you are shaping your future with your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. This is about consciously creating your life, the skill to intentionally shape your reality by taking control of your inner thoughts and feelings. With practice, patience, and persistence, anyone can develop this skill. As you get better at it, you'll notice life feels easier, more joyful, and more meaningful, realizing that what you see around you mirrors how you feel inside. Accept this truth, act on it, and see how your surroundings change to show the greatness inside you. In the end, the world around you is just a reflection of your own amazing mind. Lesson 4. The Power of Self-Concept your self-concept is a key part of who you are and plays a big role in your life, even if it's not always noticed. The way you see yourself, the story you create about who you are, is the base for your whole life experience. It serves as both the canvas and the brush, the creator and the creation. Your beliefs shape who you are, and this idea is reflected in all parts of your life. Think about how much you can achieve. Inside you is the potential for every possibility, every success, and every way of being you could want. Just like an acorn holds the potential to grow into a strong oak tree, this possibility stays hidden until you become aware of it. Your self-concept is like the soil for a seed. It provides the nourishment needed for growth and creates the environment that influences how it develops. To improve your life, you need to start by changing how you see yourself. This isn't just about thinking positively or using affirmations, even though they can be helpful tools. This changes how you see yourself at the most basic level. It takes a readiness to rethink old beliefs, to ask questions about the stories you've heard about yourself, and to accept a new story of what you can achieve. Think for a moment about being an actor in the play of life. Your role is shaped by your own beliefs about yourself, not by any outside script. If you think you are limited, unworthy, or unable, you will unknowingly show these beliefs in every part of your life. If you see yourself as limitless, worthy, and strong, your performance will change, and so will the whole show. This change isn't always simple. Our self-image is usually well-established, shaped by many years of habits and experiences. It can be uneasy or scary to embrace a new version of ourselves, Feeling uncomfortable is usually part of growing. See it as a sign that you are growing beyond your old self and reaching your true potential. As you start this journey of changing yourself, be kind to yourself. Change takes time. It is a step-by-step -step journey to discover your true self. Every little change in how you see things, every time you view yourself differently, is a win worth celebrating. Believe in the journey understanding that each small step you take is getting you closer to becoming your best self. A strong method to change how you see yourself is by using your imagination. Your imagination is not just a whimsical thought. It is a powerful tool that can actually change your reality. When you regularly picture yourself as the person you want to be, enjoying the life you want, you are sowing seeds in your subconscious mind. With time and care, these seeds will develop into the experiences and qualities you envision. Think about a shy person who wants to be more confident. By often picturing themselves talking comfortably in social settings, feeling calm and confident, 
they are slowly changing their brain to reflect these traits. As time goes by, what started as a thought turns into something you actually experience. The shy person doesn't only pretend to be confident. They actually become confident by changing how they see themselves. This process is about acknowledging your current reality and being true to yourself. Understand that where you are now is not where you will always be. You are always improving and changing. When you actively guide your growth using your imagination and how you see yourself, you take charge of your own future. You are already everything you can be. You just need to recognize it. This might sound contradictory, but it is a deep truth. All the qualities, abilities, and experiences you want to have are already within you as potential. Your job is not to change who you are, but to reveal and share your true self that lies beneath the beliefs and expectations placed on you by society. This understanding can be freeing yet difficult. You are responsible for your situation, but that also means you can change it whenever you want. You are not controlled by fate or your situation. You have the power to shape your own reality. When you accept this truth, you might notice a change in how you view life's challenges. What used to feel like huge challenges turn into chances for growth and learning about ourselves. Every experience, whether you see it as good or bad, is an opportunity to learn more about yourself and improve how you view yourself. Your relationships will change as you change how you see yourself. When you start to view yourself differently, people around you will respond to this change. People might start treating you in a new way. You could see new chances come your way, and it may feel like your whole world is changing to fit your updated self-image. This isn't magic. It's simply how the law of attraction works. Like attracts like, and what you see around you will always show what's happening inside you. During this process of changing yourself, being patient and staying determined are important. Sometimes, you might stumble and old ways of thinking and acting can come back. This is normal and should be anticipated. It's essential not to be too hard on yourself during these times. Instead, kindly shift your attention back to the person you want to be. Develop a habit of watching yourself. Pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, and actions without judging them. If you notice yourself slipping back into old habits that aren't helpful, just recognize them and make a different choice. Every choice you make strengthens your new self-image and reduces the influence of the old one. Your self-concept also involves how you relate to others, not just who you are alone. It relates to how you see your role in the world, your connections with others, and your grasp of what reality is all about. When you grow your self-concept, you might notice that your whole perspective changes. You might find a stronger bond with other people and with the universe around you. This broader understanding of oneself can result in deep spiritual realizations. You might find that the lines between yourself and others, as well as between your inner thoughts and the outside world, are not as clear as you thought. Grasping this can lead to new experiences and opportunities, helping you access wisdom and strength you didn't know were there. As you move forward on this journey of self-discovery and change, the process is just as important as the goal. Every moment is a chance to show and feel your best self. Embrace the possibilities, understanding that you are already everything you can become. Allow this truth to touch every part of your life and see how your world changes to show the greatness of who you really are. Your self-image is what opens the way to your dreams. This is the base for creating the life you want. Take care of it. Give it love and see it grow into the best version of yourself. You are a wonderful creation, a special expression of the limitless. Accept this truth, understand it, and fully become who you really are. Lesson 5. The Inner and Outer Worlds The world we see is connected to our inner feelings and thoughts. It reflects our beliefs, assumptions, and emotions. Neville Goddard's teachings focus on a key idea. The close link between our inner thoughts and the reality we see around us every day, to grasp and use the power of manifestation, we need to see that the outside world reflects our inner feelings and thoughts in many ways. Think about the last time you woke up feeling anxious or irritable. 
Did you feel like the world was working against you as you went about your day? You might have experienced more traffic than normal, dealt with unexpected issues at work, or had some stressful conversations with others. Think about a day when you woke up feeling happy and hopeful. Didn't the world around you look brighter, friendlier, and full of chances? This observation shows a basic truth. Our inner feelings affect how we see things and, in turn, influence our experience of reality. Goddard's teachings cover much more than just how we see things. He claims that what we feel inside shapes what we see outside. This might sound like a strong statement, but as we explore consciousness and the quantum world more closely, we discover more evidence that backs this idea. Our thoughts, beliefs, and emotions don't just watch reality. They play a role in shaping it. How our inner thoughts shape our outer reality is both simple and strong. What we believe and assume shapes how we see the world. This affects our choices, actions, and how we relate to others. These influence the experiences and opportunities we encounter. Our feelings create a vibration that draws similar experiences and situations into our lives. This is the core idea of the Law of Attraction, a concept that Goddard grasped and shared long before it gained popularity in mainstream culture. Our inner conversation is a powerful tool for shaping our reality. The way we talk to ourselves, our self-talk, regular thoughts, and the stories we create about who we are and what we can do, shapes our self, image, and influences our experiences in the world. Goddard highlighted how important it is to intentionally guide our inner talks towards what we want to experience in our lives. When we consistently picture and feel the reality we want, we connect our inner thoughts with that desired state, starting the process that will help it become real. Think about how your inner talks affect your everyday life. When you regularly remind yourself that you can succeed, are valuable, and deserve good things, you start to feel more confident, take bigger steps, and draw in chances that match this view of yourself. If your inner thoughts are full of self-doubt and limitations, you might hesitate, hold back, and face challenges that seem to prove your negative beliefs right. Notice how these inner talks can influence you and to actively guide them to help you achieve what you want. One of the most powerful ideas in Goddard's teaching is that everyone you encounter is a reflection of yourself. This idea encourages us to view all our interactions and relationships as mirrors of our own awareness. The way we see kindness or hostility in others and the support or opposition we face comes from our own beliefs and expectations about reality and our role in it. Knowing this means we have both a duty and great strength, as it implies that by changing ourselves, we can change the whole world. Picture this. You're in a dream. In a dream, everything you see, everything you see, every person, every scenario, and every little detail comes from your own imagination. When you wake up, you understand that what looked like different things were really parts of your own mind. Goddard proposes that our everyday reality works in a similar way, but on a much larger scale. Like a dreamer builds a dream world, our mind shapes the reality we live in. This view encourages us to see our interactions with others differently. Rather than viewing others as separate individuals influencing us, we can see them as mirrors of our own thoughts, reacting to our core beliefs and expectations. When we face challenges or disagreements with others, we should take a moment to reflect on our own beliefs and assumptions. When we change how we feel inside, we can improve our relationships and how we connect with the world. This understanding has important real-world effects. If you keep meeting the same kind of person or facing similar situations, take a moment to reflect on the belief or expectation that might be attracting these experiences to you. Do you find yourself thinking that people might not be trustworthy? Do you think that success always requires a significant sacrifice? By recognizing and changing these inner beliefs, you can significantly change your outer experiences. When you start using these principles, it might be useful to imagine your consciousness like a garden. Your thoughts, beliefs, and feelings are the seeds you put in this garden. Some seeds might have been planted a long time ago by parents, teachers, or society, while others are ones you decide to grow yourself. Your life experiences and situations are the results that come from these seeds. By taking care of your inner self, 
removing negative beliefs, encouraging positive thoughts, and fostering good feelings. You set the stage for a more beautiful and fulfilling outer world. Take your time and be kind to yourself as you work on this. It takes time and consistent effort to change long-standing ways of thinking and feeling. Old ways of thinking might come back, particularly when things get tough. When this happens, kindly remind yourself that you can choose how you feel and shift your attention to the reality you want to create. As you work on bringing your inner feelings in line with what you want in life, you might start to see small changes in your experiences outside. People might treat you in a new way, or chances you've been waiting for might show up out of the blue. These synchronicities show that you're heading in the right direction, encouraging you to enhance your practice and broaden your view of what's achievable. Lesson 6. Shaping Your Future Think about the great strength that is in your mind. Every thought you have, every feeling you care for, and every belief you cherish is like a seed planted in the rich ground of your mind. When you care for these seeds and believe in them, they develop into the situations and events that fill your life. By understanding this, we start to see an important fact. Your thoughts and feelings influence your future. How does this process work? Your mind can go beyond just the present moment. It is place where the past, present, and future come together where time loses its limits and where anything is possible. Your thoughts and feelings serve as guides, helping the energy around you to form based on how you feel inside. Think of your mind like a projector and the world around you as a plain screen. The images you decide to show, your thoughts, beliefs, and feelings appear on this screen, becoming the people, events, and situations around you. This isn't just a figure of speech. It's a basic rule of life. Your inner world shapes your outer world. As you go through life, be mindful of your thoughts and how you feel. Do they match the future you want? Do they show the person you want to be? What you pay attention to grows in your life? This isn't about punishment or reward. It's just how creation operates. Your focus is a strong energy that brings vitality to everything it encounters. If you notice that you're thinking about what you don't have or feeling limited, take a moment to stop and shift your attention. Focus on abundance, opportunity, and growth. When you change how you talk to yourself and how you feel, you'll start to see small changes in the world around you. At first, these might look like simple coincidences or lucky events. If you keep holding on to this new mindset, you'll start to notice more of these coincidences coming together, creating a new way of experiencing things. As you start this journey of creating with intention, pay attention to the strength of your inner talks. The way you talk to yourself, your beliefs about what you can achieve, and your expectations for life shape your external reality. Talk to yourself with kindness, support, and strong faith in what you can achieve. Think of your mind as a garden where you should only plant the thoughts you want to grow and flourish in your life. Everyone around you is a reflection of yourself. The people you meet, the connections you build, and the experiences you have all show what's going on in your mind. When you change how you feel inside, you'll see changes in how people react to you. This isn't due to any changes in them, but rather because how you see and express things has shifted. To shape your future, develop a sense of wonder and possibility. Think of something even greater than what you already know. Give yourself permission to imagine a life beyond what you know now. The universe has endless possibilities, and the only limits come from the beliefs and expectations we set for ourselves. When you broaden your view of what can happen, you allow yourself to encounter experiences and chances that you never imagined. As you move forward on this journey of mindful creation, you might face times of doubt or uncertainty. This is normal and should be anticipated. Old ways of thinking and feeling might try to come back, tempting you to go back, tempting you to go back to what you know, even if it holds you back. In these moments, remember this simple truth. You are already everything you can be. Your potential is already inside you, ready to be seen and shared. Your job is not to change who you are, but to recognize and show the greatness that is already inside you. Changing how you see things can be very freeing, 
Rather than trying to achieve something outside of yourself, you are just letting your true self show and express in the world. As you create your future with your thoughts and feelings, keep a mindset of gratitude and love. Being thankful helps you see the many good things already in your life, making you feel more connected to abundance. Love, at its core, is the strongest creative energy in the universe. When you pursue your desires and goals with love, for yourself, for others, and for the act of creating, you fill your manifestations with positive, uplifting energy. Lesson 7. The Practice of Imagination Imagination is a key part of reality and is essential to our lives. We use our imagination to shape the world around us, creating our experiences and influencing our future. As we explore the teachings of Neville Goddard, we see that using our imagination is not just a passing daydream or something for kids, but a strong tool for change and bringing our desires to life. To effectively use imagination, be dedicated and persistent. Like an athlete works on their body to perform at their best, we should also work on our minds to clearly picture and experience the reality we want. This practice is not just a one-time thing. It's an ongoing journey of improvement and discovery. Every day gives us a chance to use our imagination and fill our lives with the bright colors of what we want. Keeping your imagination active can lead to results that might seem amazing to those who are not familiar with it. When we keep our goals in focus and feel them as if they are happening now, we activate the power to create them. The universe starts to change itself to align with what we imagine inside us. This process might not happen right away or be clear, but it is always happening, quietly shaping our reality based on the ideas we have. Effective imagination depends on the feeling. We can't just picture what we want. We need to truly feel it as if we have already achieved it. This feeling is the key that helps turn our dreams into reality. When we genuinely experience joy, satisfaction, and gratitude for our fulfilled wishes, we connect with the energy of that reality. When we are aligned, we attract experiences and situations that reflect our inner feelings. When we use our imagination, do it with love and kindness, both for ourselves and for others. Think kindly of yourself and others. By doing this, you raise the overall awareness and spread positive vibes all around. Imagining better outcomes for others helps improve the whole world. Loving imagination helps break down barriers, mend relationships, and create new opportunities. Imagination has no limits. We are inspired to envision something greater than what we already know, to go beyond the boundaries of our present situation and thoughts. Why be satisfied with good when we can dream of greatness? Why settle for less when we can achieve greatness? When we dare to think beyond what we believe is possible, we open our minds and access the endless possibilities within us. When we use our imagination, we might face pushback from our logical thinking or from what others think. The world we see reflects our inner feelings. People who question the power of imagination show their own narrow views, we should be confident in what we believe, understanding that our imagination is the real power behind our creativity. Your imagination has no boundaries when it comes to time or space. In your imagination, you can go beyond the limits of your current situation. You can meet your future self and feel the happiness of your dreams coming true. You can go back and change your past, fixing old hurts and creating positive thoughts that will help you now. Your imagination has no limits, and as you keep practicing, you'll find out just how boundless you really are. While you use your imagination, pay attention to what you say to yourself. Your thoughts and the way you talk to yourself help shape your reality. Encourage positive and uplifting thoughts that help you achieve your goals and recognize your value. Talk to yourself like you would to a dear friend with kindness, support, and strong faith in your abilities. Using your imagination isn't about running away from reality. It's about building a new one. It's about actively engaging with life, taking charge of our experiences, and making thoughtful choices about where we want to go. When we imagine, we work together with the universe, joining forces with the vast intelligence that controls everything around us. In your creative work, 
Be brave and take risks. Think about situations that make you feel excited, happy, and full of energy. Let yourself enjoy the excitement of what could be and the joy of new opportunities. By doing this, you increase your vibrational frequency, connecting with the better parts of yourself and drawing in experiences that fit this higher state. Using your imagination is not about trying to control results or influence other people. It's about connecting with what you truly want and letting the universe guide the events in the best way possible. Believe in the journey. Keep your desire in your thoughts and feelings, and the right way to achieve it will become clear. As you keep practicing, you might notice that your desires change and grow. This is a normal part of the process. As we change and develop, our goals for our lives might change too. Welcome these changes as they show your growing awareness and better understanding of your true abilities. Using your imagination is a journey that lasts a lifetime, filled with exploration and creativity. Every day offers chances to improve your skills, discover new options, and strengthen your connection with your inner creativity. Engage in this practice with a feeling of excitement and interest, ready to discover new ideas and experiences. To sum up, using your imagination is essential for reaching your full potential and building a joyful, fulfilling, and abundant life. By consistently using your imagination, truly feeling your desires, and approaching this practice with love and openness, you connect with the creative forces of the universe. You'll find that your life reflects the strength of your imagination, a work of art created by your own unique creativity. Engage in this practice with excitement and commitment, as it allows you to connect with your true self and the endless opportunities that lie ahead. Lesson 8. Your inner conversations create your outer world. In life, we often look for the answers to understand our world better. We look outside for answers in the world around us, not seeing that the real source of our experiences is inside us. Neville Goddard's teachings reveal an important idea. What you think and say to yourself shapes your reality. This straightforward but impactful idea can change every part of your life, including your relationships, career, health, and happiness. Think of your mind as a garden, where your thoughts are the seeds you put in the ground. The things you say to yourself, the beliefs you have, and the feelings you care for are like the soil, water, and sunlight that help these seeds grow. Like a gardener takes care of their garden, you should nurture your inner self with the same focus. Your outer reality grows from this inner garden. Think about the most recent time you faced a tough situation. It might have been a tough work task or a difficult relationship. What were you thinking about during that time? Did you talk to yourself in a kind and supportive way, or did you give in to doubt and negativity? The words we say to ourselves can greatly affect how we feel, what we do, and the results we see in our lives. Goddard's teachings show us that we are not just watching our lives happen. We are actively making them happen. Every thought and every word we say to ourselves shapes our reality. Negative self-talk creates a view of limits and difficulties. When we decide to fill our minds with positive and uplifting conversations, we start to notice those same qualities in our outside experiences. This idea goes further than just thinking positively. It involves bringing together your thoughts, feelings, and core beliefs with the reality you want to create. When you regularly have thoughts that match how you want to feel, you start to become that way. You don't just wish for a better future, you act as if that future is already happening now. Think about how this method can impact your everyday life. What if, instead of waking up and focusing on your worries and fears, you started each day with thoughts of gratitude and hope? Today brings great chances. I am able, sure of myself, and deserving of all the good things that come to me. By actively selecting the tone and content of your thoughts, you prepare for a day that matches those positive hopes. This practice needs more than just simple affirmations. To really use the strength of your inner talks, you need to deeply feel the truth of your words. When you tell yourself, I am successful, just saying the words isn't enough. Let yourself experience the feelings that come with success, like confidence, satisfaction, and a sense of accomplishment. 
The mix of your thoughts and feelings brings energy to your words and starts to change your reality. Your inner conversations shape your outer world, highlighting how everything is connected. Goddard's philosophy suggests that you are not really separate from the world around you. Your awareness shapes everything you see. This means that the people and situations around you reflect what is in your own mind. This knowledge can be both helpful and difficult. If you are in a situation filled with negativity or conflict, you should look inside yourself to find where it comes from. Do you feel resentment or judgment? Are you having thoughts about not having enough or feeling restricted? When you notice these patterns and decide to change them, you can start to see changes in your outside world. On the other hand, when you fill your inner self with love, abundance, and joy, you'll notice that the world around you starts to reflect these qualities. People treat you differently. Chances come your way more easily, and even unexpected events seem to work out for you. This isn't magic or luck. It's simply the outcome of matching your inner feelings with the qualities you want to see in your life. Directing your inner conversations takes time and effort. We often have regular thoughts and deep-seated beliefs that might not be helpful for us. It takes time and steady effort to change these patterns. With every positive thought and encouraging inner conversation, you are building the groundwork for a new reality. Begin with something manageable. Pick one part of your life that you want to improve and start to actively change the way you talk to yourself about it. If you're looking for a new job, try to focus on the excitement and satisfaction of your ideal position instead of getting caught up in your current frustrations. Talk to yourself as if you are already experiencing that reality. As you work on this, you might notice that what you do on the outside starts to match what you think on the inside. You may want to refresh your resume, connect with people in your target industry, or learn new skills. Your inner world influences your outer reality. The thoughts you have with yourself go beyond just the words you say. They consist of the pictures you have in your mind, the feelings you develop, and the beliefs you support. All of these parts come together to shape your experience. When you decide to fill your mind and heart with beauty, possibility, and love, you bring these qualities into your life around you. Neville Goddard's teachings show us that we are not just victims of what happens to us. Instead, we have the ability to create our own reality. The way you talk to yourself shapes your life. When you take charge of your thoughts and how you talk to yourself, you gain the ability to influence your life. Lesson 9. Advanced Concepts. Expanding Your Reality. As we work on manifesting our goals and changing ourselves, we come across ideas that make us rethink what we know about reality and what we think we can achieve. As we look closer at Neville Goddard's teachings, we explore the connection between time, space, and consciousness. These ideas encourage us to broaden our understanding and adopt a more flexible view of reality. Time is something we usually think of as moving in a straight line from the past, through the present, and into the future. In the world of imagination and manifestation, time is flexible and can change based on our thoughts and desires. Goddard shows us that all moments, past, present, and future, are all happening at the same time in the eternal now. This understanding frees us from strict ways of thinking and allows for endless opportunities for creation and change. When we understand this idea, we see that our ideal future isn't a far-off goal but something that already exists right now. When we connect our thoughts with what we want, we close the gap between the present and the future. This is what it means to live in the end, to think and feel as if our fulfilled desire is already happening now. In the context of manifestation, space has a different meaning. Like time, space is not a fixed thing. It isn't the solid outside structure we usually think it is. It is a reflection of our thoughts, a space where we express our wishes and beliefs. The world we see is connected to us and reflects our inner feelings. This idea shows why two people can experience the same situation in very different ways. How each person sees things is influenced by what they believe, what they expect, and their main thoughts. When we understand this, we give ourselves the ability to actively influence our experience of reality by first changing our inner world. 
As we explore these ideas, we see how important it is to let go in the process of making things happen. Detachment may seem strange. After all, if we want something, shouldn't we care a lot about making it happen? True detachment is not the same as being indifferent or uncaring. It is a feeling of calm and confidence that arises from understanding that our wishes are already realized in the spiritual world. When we focus too much on results, we come from a feeling of not having enough and feeling anxious. We often look for approval from others and feel disappointed when things don't go the way we want right away. This attachment creates resistance and often keeps our desires out of reach. Detachment helps us feel secure in knowing that our desires will be fulfilled, easing the worry and uncertainty that can block their realization. Practicing detachment means building a strong belief in the creative ability of our imagination. It means to keep our desires in mind without being too attached, knowing that what we envision will eventually show up in our real lives. This state is not just sitting still. It is an active, hopeful calm from which everything comes to life. As we explore these ideas, we will come across our own doubts and beliefs that hold us back. These are the internal obstacles that appear to block us from achieving our goals. Getting past these limitations is likely the most important and difficult part of using Goddard's teachings. Limiting beliefs are common thought patterns that we develop over time in our lives. They could come from experiences in childhood, what society teaches us, or previous failures. These beliefs shape how we see the world, often changing our view and holding us back from reaching our full potential. To overcome these limiting beliefs, see that they are not real. We shape our reality with our imagination, and we have also made these limitations ourselves. Anything that is made can also be unmade. When we regularly pick thoughts and ideas that match what we want, we slowly reduce the power of limiting beliefs and build up new, positive ones. Doubt, which often comes with limiting beliefs, needs a new way to be handled. It's normal to have doubts, especially when dealing with ideas that push our understanding of reality. We should try to notice these doubts without letting them define us. Doubt doesn't mean you've failed. It's a chance to strengthen your dedication to what you want. When we feel doubt, we can use it as a signal to go back to the feeling of having our wish come true. Rather than resisting doubt, we recognize it and then calmly redirect our attention to the outcome we want. With time, this practice helps us become stronger, enabling us to keep our desired state of mind even when things around us are challenging. When we explore these ideas, we start to see reality as a wide space filled with endless options. What we see as real is just the way our current state of consciousness is expressed outwardly. This understanding is freeing and gives us strength as it puts the ability to shape our lives directly in our control. Time and space in manifestation allow us to explore reality in new and unexpected ways. We can picture ourselves in various times and places, feeling our wishes as if they are happening right now. This creative play is not just a dream. It is the essence of making things happen. Lesson 10. Your inner conversations create your outer world. In the quiet of your mind, a soft sound can be heard. It's the voice inside you, always talking and helping to create your reality. Your inner thoughts, which are often ignored, shape your outer reality. Neville Goddard taught an important idea. What you tell yourself in your thoughts becomes the experiences and situations in your life. Picture your mind as a garden. Your thoughts and inner conversations are the seeds you plant in this rich ground. The things you say to yourself, the beliefs you hold, and the stories you share about your life and the world, these are all like seeds. Some are lively and full of energy, while others might be faded or filled with uncertainty. Each one will grow and produce results in your life. Your inner conversation is powerful because it is consistent and filled with emotion. When you keep reminding yourself that you are capable, worthy, and meant for greatness, you are setting the stage for success and fulfillment. On the other hand, when your inner thoughts are full of self-doubt, criticism, and limitations, you are creating a path for struggle and disappointment. Your subconscious mind always listens to you and works hard to turn your thoughts into reality. Have you ever seen how some people seem to attract success easily while others find it hard, 
even when they try their best. The difference usually comes from what they tell themselves inside, not just what they do on the outside. People who succeed usually have a strong confidence in their skills and value. Their inner thoughts support their goals and wishes, helping to connect what they think with what they experience outside. Your inner conversation can change. You can shape and improve this conversation as it evolves. This is the starting point for effective manifestation. By actively changing how you talk to yourself, you can change the story of your life. Begin by noticing what you are saying to yourself inside your mind. What do you think about your skills, your value, and what lies ahead for you? Do these conversations match the life you want to build? If that's the case, it's time to make a change. Start talking to yourself with kindness, support, and strong faith in what you can achieve. Value your inner dialogue. It truly matters. Neville Goddard said that to change your life, you need to change how you talk to yourself about your life. This goes beyond just thinking positively. It's a basic change in how you feel and exist. Changing the way you talk to yourself changes your energy and the experiences you bring into your life. Picture starting each day by having a quiet chat with yourself that reminds you of your worth, your plenty, and your happiness, even before you get out of bed. Imagine having a conversation in your mind throughout the day that supports your goals and wishes. Imagine talking to yourself as if everything you've ever wanted has already happened. This is living from the end, which is a key part of Goddard's teachings. Your inner dialogue goes beyond just words. It includes the pictures you have in your mind, the feelings you nurture, and the general mood of your awareness. When you mix strong, positive words with clear mental pictures and real feelings, you start an inner dialogue that connects deeply with every part of you. When you improve how you talk to yourself, you'll see a change in how you view the world around you. Your outer world reflects what's happening inside you. When your inner dialogue shifts to a more positive and empowering tone, you'll start to notice opportunities instead of obstacles. People will react to you in various ways, reflecting the confidence and positivity you are building inside yourself. The world you see and experience is not different from you. It is you, expressed outward. Each person, situation, and event in your life mirrors the thoughts you have inside. When you grasp this idea, you gain great power because changing how you feel inside will also change what happens outside. Just take your time with this process. Your present situation comes from many years of thoughts and discussions within yourself. Making a change takes determination and belief. Have faith in the hidden forces that are constantly helping to turn your inner thoughts into reality. Even when things look the same, remember that something new is happening underneath, shaped by the way you talk to yourself now. Be aware of your thoughts and what you say. Notice when you start to think negatively about yourself or hold limiting beliefs. Calmly guide your thoughts to match what you want. Talk to yourself the way you would talk to someone you truly care about and have faith in. In reality, no one is more worthy of your love and trust than you. The way you talk to yourself is important for understanding and changing how you see yourself. Your self-image and the story you share about yourself are shaped by the way you talk to yourself inside your mind. When you intentionally talk to yourself like the person you want to be, you slowly change how you see yourself. When you change how you see yourself, you change everything around you, just like Neville Goddard said. Use your imagination to influence your inner dialogue. Don't just say affirmations over and over. Instead, imagine clear mental pictures that involve all your senses. As you picture these scenes, let your thoughts and feelings come out freely. Listen to yourself say words of confidence and success. Experience feelings of happiness and satisfaction. This mix of creative thinking and encouraging self-talk is a strong tool for change. Pay attention to how your thoughts affect what you say and do when you talk to others. When you have a positive and encouraging inner conversation, it easily reflects in how you communicate with others. You will encourage others and help them see the possibilities, which will strengthen the positive environment you are building. Your inner conversation isn't only focused on reaching goals or making wishes come true. It's about connecting with your true self, the limitless divine part of who you are. When you improve your inner conversation, you'll start to connect with better ideas, 
deeper understanding, and a stronger sense of purpose. Your inner thoughts shape the reality you experience. Pick your words carefully, talk to yourself with kindness and confidence, and see how the world around you changes to reflect the beauty within you. Ultimately, it's not what happens in your life that determines your future, but how you talk to yourself about those happenings. Recognize the strength of your self-talk. Let it inspire you, provide knowledge, and help bring about positive change. Your inner thoughts hold the key to a joyful, abundant life full of possibilities. Your inner world is ready to grow into something amazing. Just take care of it with love, belief, and the power of your words. Lesson 11. The Inner and Outer Worlds. A Dance of Reflection. The world we see around us is not just a random mix of events and situations. It shows a deep connection to our inner feelings. This basic idea is central to Neville Goddard's teachings and is an important key to understanding reality and our part in shaping it. As we explore this idea, we start to see the connection between our inner thoughts and the life we experience outside. Think of your mind as a projector that shines your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs onto the world around you. Everyone you meet, every situation you face, and every experience you go through reflects your inner feelings. This might sound like a surprising idea at first, but as we look into it more, you'll start to understand its important truth and the change it can bring. The outside world shows exactly how you feel inside. If you feel like there isn't enough, you'll see signs of this all around you. If you focus on feeling abundant and grateful, you'll notice that the world gives you more reasons to feel thankful. This isn't just a coincidence or how we see things. It's how reality reacts to the energy of your thoughts. The talks you have with yourself every day are very important in influencing what happens around you. When you talk to yourself, whether you realize it or not, you're shaping your subconscious mind and the reality around you. If you often think thoughts of doubt, worry, and self-criticism, you might be creating situations that confirm these negative beliefs. When you focus on having positive and uplifting thoughts, you start to bring in situations and chances that match this better way of feeling. Think about how strong your words can be, whether you say them or keep them to yourself. The things you tell yourself, the beliefs you have about what you can do, and the hopes you set for your life all shape your reality. When you notice your inner conversations and intentionally pick thoughts and words that align with what you want, you can start to change your outer world in amazing ways. One of the key ideas in this teaching is that everyone you encounter is a reflection of yourself. This idea encourages us to view each person we meet as a mirror of our own thoughts and feelings. Colleagues who annoy us, friends who help us, and family members who challenge us all reflect different parts of who we are. This idea can be both humbling and empowering because it puts the responsibility for our experiences directly in our own hands. When we really understand this idea, we start to look at our relationships and interactions with more kindness and interest. Rather than judging or feeling frustrated by how others act, we can think, what part of me is this person showing? What can I learn from this situation? Changing how we view things can help us grow and improve our relationships. This teaching is powerful not only because we understand it, but because we live it completely. Throughout your day, try to view the world as a reflection of how you feel inside. Pay attention to how your feelings impact, how others react to you, how what you expect shapes what you go through, and how your thoughts on what's achievable affect the chances that come your way. Being aware of this can change everything, as it allows you to take control of your life experience. Awareness is only the first step. True transformation occurs when you actively work on your inner thoughts and feelings to bring about positive changes in your external life. This doesn't mean ignoring or pushing away negative thoughts and feelings when they come up. It's about recognizing your thoughts and feelings, figuring out where they come from, and then deciding to focus on the ones that match what you want. Picture yourself dealing with a tough situation at your job. You may first feel stressed, worried, and unsure of yourself. Knowing that your inner feelings shape your outer world, you can decide to handle the situation in a new way. Rather than focusing on the worst things that could happen, try to picture a good result. Imagine the relief and happiness you would feel after overcoming the challenge. 
Talk to yourself in a way that reinforces your ability and deservingness of success. If you keep this inner state, you may notice that things around you start to change for the better, often in surprising ways. This practice needs you to be patient, keep trying, and believe in yourself. The outside world may not change right away when we change inside, but it will change if we stay true to our new way of living. Imagine it as steering a big ship. It takes time to change direction, but once you set the new path and keep it steady, the whole ship will follow the new course. As you understand the connection between your inner and outer worlds, you might notice that you are more aware of the energy you share with the world. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are like pebbles thrown into a pond. They create ripples that spread out and affect more than just what you see right now. When you nurture a mindset of love, abundance, and possibility, you create a strong impact for positive change, both in your life and in the lives of others. Keep in mind, this isn't about being perfect or always staying positive. It's about understanding your inner self better and being accountable for the reality you are shaping. Sometimes, negative thoughts and feelings come up. This is normal for everyone. It's important not to criticize yourself during these times. Instead, see them as chances to grow and make thoughtful decisions. As you keep looking into and using this principle, you might notice that how you see the world and your role in it starts to change a lot. You will begin to notice chances where you previously saw challenges and possibilities where you once saw restrictions. The world turns into a more enchanting and flexible space, reacting to the creative strength of your mind. Basically, realizing that the outside world mirrors your inner feelings, that your thoughts shape your reality, and that everyone around you is a reflection of yourself is like receiving the keys to your life's kingdom. It's an invitation to embrace your role in shaping your life, to take charge of your experiences, and to intentionally build a life that aligns with your greatest hopes and wishes. Lesson 12. The world outside reflects your inner state. The world around you reflects what you feel inside. This idea, important in Neville Goddard's teachings, shows the close link between our thoughts and the reality we see around us. It is an idea that, when understood, can change every part of our lives. Picture yourself in front of a mirror. When you look into its shiny surface, you see more than just your appearance. You see all of who you are, your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and assumptions. Now, make this mirror cover everything around you. Every person you meet, every situation you deal with, and every event that happens in your life shows what is going on inside you. This is the core idea of Goddard's teaching that the world around you reflects your own consciousness. Think about the moments when you felt happy and satisfied. In those times, didn't everything feel more vibrant? Didn't people seem friendlier and opportunities seem more plentiful? Think back to the times when you felt overwhelmed by worry or anger. Didn't those streets look darker and those faces seem more unfriendly? This isn't just a coincidence or how someone feels. It's the law of consciousness at work. Your inner state is made up of your beliefs, thoughts, feelings, and assumptions. It is how you see and engage with the world around you. Changing your inner state alters the reflection you see in the mirror of reality. This explains why two people can encounter the same situation but have very different experiences. Their inner feelings are not the same. How does this reflection happen? It's not a magical process. It's just how your mind and the universe naturally operate. Your feelings affect what you do, the choices you make, how you carry yourself, and the energy you give off. Your actions influence how people react to you, the chances you see and take, and the direction your life takes. Think about someone who strongly feels they are not worthy. This belief affects how they interact with others making them avoid opportunities, anticipate rejection, and view neutral situations in a negative light. Their experience of the world supports their belief, not because the world is naturally unfriendly, but because their feelings and thoughts have influenced how they see things and act, creating that reality. Now, picture that same person changing their mindset to one of self-worth and confidence. They now stand taller, speak more confidently, and face life with excitement. 
opportunities that were always present but not seen before now seem to show up like magic. People react better to this new energy, and life starts to show this new inner state. What is the first step in this transformation? It begins with knowing. Pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, and reactions during the day. Pay attention to the beliefs you hold about yourself and your surroundings. Your inner state is made up of these basic elements. When you notice them, you can start to pick new thoughts and feelings that match the reality you want to have. Seeing things in your mind and using your imagination are very important in this process. When you clearly picture what you want and feel the related emotions, you start to change your inner world. This isn't just daydreaming. It's a strong way to create something new. As you continue in this new state, believing it to be real in your mind, you will notice your outside world starting to match this inner picture. This takes time. Like a seed growing into a strong oak tree, your changed inner feelings need time to show up in your outside world. Being patient and staying determined are important. Have faith in the process. As you keep your new inner state, the outside will naturally start to show it. This principle works whether you are aware of it or not. Your inner feelings are shown to you in every moment of your life. When you understand this process and take charge of your inner world, you gain the ability to shape your own reality. This lesson encourages us to take complete control of our lives. It's simple to point fingers at outside factors or others for our issues, but real strength comes from understanding that we create our own experiences. Challenging situations may come up, but we can decide how to react to them and change them for the better. As you start this journey of bringing your inner and outer worlds together, be kind to yourself. Changing old ways of thinking and feeling can be tough, and it requires time and practice. Appreciate little improvements and stay calm during challenges. Every moment gives you a chance to decide how you feel inside, which can also change your reality. The idea that the outside world shows what's happening inside you encourages you to be more aware, take control of your thoughts and feelings, and build a life that matches your greatest goals. It's a reminder that changing your life comes from within, not from trying to control outside situations. As you go about your days, keep this wisdom in mind. See the world around you as a reflection of your inner feelings. When you face situations or people that don't match what you want, try not to react negatively. Instead, see them as helpful insights into your inner self. Next, with kindness and resolve, begin to change that inner state. You are not just a victim of what happens around you. You have the ability to create your own path. The world around you mirrors who you are. When you accept this truth and act on it, you open the door to endless possibilities. Your life is like a canvas, and your feelings are the brush that helps you create your masterpiece. Embrace this strength and see how the world changes around you, reflecting the beauty, abundance, and happiness that you create inside yourself. Lesson 13. Your inner conversations create your outer world. The world you see around you is not a separate reality from your mind. It is a reflection of how you feel inside. Your self-talk, beliefs, and assumptions about reality all influence the world you experience. This important idea is central to Neville Goddard's teachings and provides a strong key to achieving the life you want. Think about all the thoughts that come to your mind every day. The thoughts you have, the opinions you form, and the narratives you create about yourself and your potential, all of these shape your reality. Your inner thoughts are not just random talk. They are the foundation of your outer reality. When you really understand this idea, you start to see the great control you have over your own life. You are no longer just a victim of what happens to you. You are now the one writing your own story. The world around you is not just happening. It reacts to your actions. This idea can be freeing, but also a bit overwhelming, as it puts the control of your life directly in your hands. How do your inner conversations influence your outer reality? The process is clear and meaningful. Your thoughts and beliefs shape how you see and understand the world around you. They affect how you feel, what you choose, and what you do. Your experiences and the opportunities you encounter are influenced by these factors. 
Imagine your mind like a garden. The ideas you care for are like seeds you put in the ground. If you focus on them and provide emotional support, they will thrive and develop. If you ignore them, they will fade away. Your mind is always creating outcomes in your life, whether you realize it or not. Pay attention to what you tell yourself inside your head. What type of talks do you have with yourself? Do they feel uncertain, scared, and restricted, or are they full of potential, self-assurance, and plenty? Your inner conversations affect how you experience life. To change what's around you, you need to start by changing what you say to yourself inside. This doesn't mean ignoring the difficulties you encounter or just thinking positively without depth. It means changing the way you see yourself and the world around you. It's about matching your thoughts with the reality you want to build. Begin by noticing your usual thoughts and beliefs. Pay attention to the beliefs you hold about yourself, other people, and how reality works. Are these helping you, or are they stopping you? When you notice your inner thoughts, you can start to change them on purpose. Picture the you who already possesses what you want. What would that person be thinking? What type of thoughts would they have? Start using this way of thinking and talking to yourself. This is about being honest with yourself and connecting your mind with the reality you want. Your outside world will always show what's happening inside you. To bring more love into your life, focus on nurturing loving thoughts and feelings inside yourself. If you want to feel abundant, focus on developing a sense of wealth and gratitude within yourself. To bring something into your life, start by imagining it in your mind first. Getting this can help you feel deep compassion and give you strength. Rather than attempting to change others or oppose the world, you can concentrate on changing yourself. When you focus on having more positive, loving, and abundant thoughts, you'll notice that your interactions with others and your view of the world get better on their own. The questions you ask yourself are part of your inner conversations. The quality of your life depends on the questions you ask. Rather than wondering why things often go wrong, Think about how you can learn and improve from your experiences. Rather than thinking about why you haven't reached your goals, consider what actions you can take today to get closer to them. Your inner talks go beyond just words. They consist of the pictures you imagine, the feelings you nurture, and the general mood of your awareness. All of these help shape what you see around you. When you learn to talk to yourself better, you'll find that you can make significant changes in your life. You will see that you are in control of your own experience, rather than being affected by outside factors. This is about living with intention, actively creating your reality instead of just responding to it. Aligning your inner conversations with your desires is a journey that lasts a lifetime. It's not about being perfect, but about constantly improving and raising your awareness. Every day brings chances to think positively, to envision better possibilities, and to talk to yourself with kindness and support. Your life is like a continuous chat with the universe. All thoughts, words, and feelings contribute to this conversation. When you pay more attention to this conversation and focus on what you say, you'll notice that the universe reacts similarly, showing you the reality you have envisioned and believed to be real. Lesson 14. Imagine better than the best you know. In our lives, there is an important truth that can change everything. We can imagine things that are even better than what we already know. This idea, important in Neville Goddard's teachings, encourages us to go beyond the limits of our current reality and access the endless possibilities of our imagination. It encourages us to go beyond what we think is possible and to dream in bigger, bolder, and more beautiful ways than before. To envision something greater than what we currently understand needs a change in our thinking. We need to let go of the limits set by our past experiences and what society expects so we can explore all the possibilities that are out there. This is not just daydreaming. It is a purposeful and strong act of creating. When we use our imagination like this, we are creating the plan for our future reality. Think about the most significant accomplishments in human history. Every invention, every piece of art, and every scientific discovery started as a thought, an idea that first lived in the mind of its creator. 
These thinkers imagined something new, something better than anything that existed before. They didn't just make small changes to what was already there. They boldly explored new possibilities inspired by their creativity. The same idea works in our personal lives. When we set goals or imagine our perfect future, we often make the mistake of relying on our past experiences or what we think is possible. This way of thinking holds us back, stopping us from reaching our full potential. To think of something better than what we already know means to let go of our own limits and let our minds reach new heights. This practice needs bravery and trust. It encourages us to have faith in possibilities that might seem strange or unlikely given our current situation. This openness to consider what seems impossible leads to amazing accomplishments and experiences. When we picture a life that goes beyond our biggest dreams, we start a chain of events that can help make it happen. Imagining something better than what we already know is important, not only for the outcome, but also for the change it brings in us. When we keep doing this practice, we start to view ourselves and our surroundings differently. We start to notice more opportunities and possibilities that we may not have seen before. Becoming aware is the first step to making our biggest dreams come true. When we think of something better than what we already know, we unlock a source of creativity and new ideas. We move away from traditional ideas and look into new areas of thought. This process can help you solve problems, express yourself artistically, and grow personally. It prompts us to think about what we believe is possible and to push against the usual ways of doing things, both in our personal lives and in society as a whole. How can we apply this principle in real life? It starts with developing a deep inner life. We should take care of our imagination like a garden, providing it with different experiences, knowledge, and inspiration. Explore a variety of books, learn about different cultures and viewpoints, and look for experiences that question what you already think. The more diverse and broad your inner world is, the more ideas you have to use in your creative projects. Next, try to regularly practice intentional imagining. Take some time every day to imagine your perfect life, your biggest dreams, and the world you want to create. Don't hold back or restrict your ideas based on what appears realistic. Let your imagination soar and discover the farthest possibilities. While you do this, notice the feelings that come up. Emotions drive our creativity and help us turn our ideas into reality. As you start this journey of creative discovery, get ready for some challenges. Sometimes, the world doesn't show your bigger ideas right away, and you might start to feel uncertain. This is where sticking with it and believing are really important. Believe in your imagination and the way things can come to be. Keep your focus on your vision, even when things around you seem confusing or contradictory. Thinking of something better than what we already know is about getting back in touch with our natural ability to create. It shows that we are not just watching our lives happen, but we are actively involved in shaping our own reality. When we use our imagination fully, we take on the role of co-creators in our world. So go ahead and dream beyond what you already know. Let your imagination guide you to new places and reveal possibilities you haven't thought of before. Picture a life that is beautiful, satisfying, and remarkable, leaving you in awe. With belief and determination, See how your imagination starts to change your reality, giving you experiences and chances that go beyond your biggest dreams. In the end, it's our ability to envision something better than what we already know that drives us forward, constantly growing and evolving towards reaching our full potential. Lesson 15. Everyone in your world is yourself pushed out. In life, we often see ourselves as separate from the world around us. One of the key ideas in Neville Goddard's teachings is that everyone in your life is a reflection of yourself. This idea questions what we usually think about reality and encourages us to look deeper into our minds and how they connect to the world around us. To understand this idea, we need to recognize that consciousness is the only reality. Everything we go through, every person we meet, and every situation we face shows what is happening in our own mind. The world around us is connected to our inner feelings and thoughts. 
This understanding can feel freeing yet overwhelming, as it means we are in charge of our own experiences. Think about the people around you. The caring partner, the helpful friend, the tough co-worker, the challenging family member, all of these people are really just parts of you shown back to you. They are not different entities working on their own. Instead, they are expressions of your beliefs, assumptions, and expectations regarding the world and your role in it. This insight changes how we relate to and interact with others. When we have problems or disagreements with others, we are really dealing with parts of ourselves that need care and healing. The person who annoys us is reflecting a part of ourselves that we haven't completely accepted or embraced yet. The person who inspires us shows us the potential we have inside ourselves. Every interaction is a chance to think about ourselves and improve. Adopting this idea means changing how we see things. Rather than viewing the world as something that happens to us, we start to see it as something that comes from us. We shape our own reality, and everyone we meet has a part in the larger story of our awareness. This change allows us to fully own our experiences and to face life with greater awareness and purpose. Also, realizing that everyone is a reflection of you creates new chances for change. To change how we experience others, we need to start by changing ourselves. Changing what we believe, assume, and expect can change how we see others in our lives. This isn't about trying to control others. It's about matching our inner feelings with the reality we want to experience. Think about a time when you often feel that others do not respect you. Instead of trying to make others change how they act, you can look at your own thoughts about respect and value. When you build a strong sense of self-respect and connect your thoughts with feeling respected, you'll notice that the people around you start to show you that same respect. This idea goes beyond personal connections and applies to our overall experience in the world. The social and political situation, the economy, and global events all show what we collectively think and feel, and we are part of that. When we change our own awareness, we help change the shared experience and, ultimately, the world around us. Seeing everyone as a reflection of yourself takes careful attention and awareness. It encourages us to be aware of how we see things and to regularly think about how we respond to others. When we notice ourselves judging or criticizing someone, we can take a moment to ask, what part of myself do I see in this person? What belief or expectation is being shown to me? This practice helps us see the good in others, which in turn brings out the best in ourselves. When we choose to recognize the divine, the beautiful, and the potential in everyone we meet, we connect our minds with these qualities and start to live them more completely. This isn't about ignoring what's real or acting like everything is fine. It's about making a choice on where to direct our attention and energy. As we learn more about this principle, we start to view the world as a mirror that shows our deepest thoughts and feelings. This mirror gives us ongoing feedback, showing us how well we align with our desires and where we may still have limiting beliefs or unresolved issues. Each interaction is a chance to learn more about yourself and grow. The idea that everyone is a reflection of you has important effects on manifestation and the law of attraction. When we really understand this idea, we see that we don't have to change or control outside situations to get what we want. We concentrate on matching our inner feelings with the reality we want to have. As we make these changes, the people and situations around us naturally adjust to match how we are feeling now. Lesson 16. Feeling is the secret to manifestation. In life, there's an important truth that can change lives and shape our reality. Feeling is the key to making things happen. This clear and impactful idea, promoted by the renowned mystic and teacher Neville Goddard, reveals the way to access the limitless potential within us all. It is not just a method or a trend, but a basic idea that shapes our reality. To grasp the importance of feeling and manifestation, we need to see that our inner world is where everything we experience in the outer world comes from. Every situation, every relationship, and every success or failure we face shows what is happening in our own mind. The world we see isn't a reality that exists on its own. Instead, it's shaped by our beliefs, assumptions, and especially our feelings. In this context, 
feeling is much more than just an emotion. It is a strong feeling of understanding and experiencing what we want as if it is already true. It is about living as if we have already achieved our desires, fully believing in that reality so that every part of us aligns with it. This is the key that many people looking for success and happiness have missed. It shows why some people easily get what they want while others find it hard to achieve their goals. Think back to the last time you accomplished something important in your life. It could be getting your ideal job, meeting the right person, or achieving a goal you've wanted for a long time. If you think about it, you'll see that before your desire becomes real in the world, you already felt it as real inside you. You lived as if you had already achieved it, feeling the joy, satisfaction, and sense of accomplishment that comes with it. This emotional state came before and led to the actual achievement of your desire. Feeling has the ability to go around our logical thinking and connect straight to the subconscious, which actually shapes our reality. Our subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what is actually happening in the physical world and what we imagine and feel strongly. When we feel as if our wish is already fulfilled, we are changing our subconscious to match that reality, which starts the process to make it happen in real life. How can someone develop this feeling? It starts with imagination, the strongest creative power in the universe. Using our imagination, we can create clear mental pictures that bring out the emotions linked to the reality we want. We need to fully engage in these imaginative activities so that they seem more real than what we are experiencing right now. This isn't just daydreaming or hoping for the best. It's a careful and intentional use of our creativity. While we practice this art of feeling it real, we should also pay attention to our usual thoughts and inner talks. The conversations we have with ourselves influence what we believe and how we feel. If we keep saying we don't have enough, or that we're not good enough, we can't also feel the happiness and abundance of getting what we want. We need to carefully watch what we think and say to ourselves, picking thoughts that match the feeling of having what we want. To truly feel it real, you need to keep trying and believe in the process. Results might take some time, but we should have faith in the reliable nature of consciousness. Like a seed in good soil that will grow into a plant, our desires, when we feel they are fulfilled, will also show up in our real lives. This faith is not just wishful thinking. It comes from a clear understanding of the principles that shape our world. The power of feeling and manifestation extends beyond just personal desires. It can be used to make a positive difference in the world around us. When we imagine what it feels like to live in a peaceful and harmonious world, we help make it a reality. When we share in the happiness of others' achievements and health, we contribute to making those positive experiences a reality for them. The real meaning of love thy neighbor as thyself is understanding that everyone and everything around us is connected to our own awareness. As we get better at truly feeling our desires, we might face pushback from our old ways of thinking and believing. This is normal and should be anticipated. The way we live now comes from years of thinking and feeling in certain ways, and changing these habits might take some time. Keep going and to keep feeling like our wish has come true, even when things around us seem to say otherwise. A great way to improve our ability to feel it real is to use all our senses in our imagination exercises. We can visualize our ideal reality, listen to the related sounds, experience the textures, enjoy the scents, and savor the flavors. The clearer we can picture and feel these sensory experiences, the more real they seem to our subconscious mind, and the faster they will appear in our physical reality. Another key part of feeling it real is letting go of the how of manifestation. When we concentrate too much on the exact ways our wishes will be fulfilled, we can bring in doubt and restrictions to how we feel. We should rely on the vast intelligence of the universe to fulfill our wishes in ways that might be beyond what we can comprehend. Our task is to keep the feeling of the wish already achieved and stay open to all the endless ways it can come true. When we learn to truly feel it, we start to see that time isn't just a straight line, but a flexible part of our awareness. From our limitless self, every possibility is already there. When we feel as if our desire is already fulfilled, we are not making something new. 
Instead, we are choosing and experiencing a reality that is already possible. This understanding frees us from strict ways of thinking and allows us to explore the endless possibilities of our creativity. Lesson 17. Living in the Wish Fulfilled Living in the Wish Fulfilled is a strong and transformative idea from Neville Goddard. It captures the core of his philosophy and offers a straightforward way to bring our desires to life. This principle encourages us to enter the reality we want to experience, treating it not as something that might happen in the future, but as something that is true right now. Living in the wish fulfilled means to embrace the mindset you would have if your desire had already come true. It's about being honest with yourself and making sure your inner feelings match the reality you want to see in your life. This alignment is essential for tapping into your imagination and activating the forces that will help turn your desires into reality. Think about how it would feel if your greatest wish had already come true in your life. How do you think? How would you present yourself? How does your inner voice speak to you? These questions are important and can help you change your life. When you answer these questions and apply those answers in your daily life, you start to align yourself with what you truly want. This method works well because it can go around the logical mind's habit of concentrating on what is happening now or what has happened before. When you imagine your wish already fulfilled, you don't worry about how it will happen or if it's possible given your current situation. Just feel as if your wish is already fulfilled and allow the universe to handle the rest. This idea is based on the belief that your awareness is the only real thing that exists. Your view of the outside world shows what you feel inside. When you adjust your inner feelings to align with what you want to achieve, you will naturally change the situations in your life. It's about letting your desired reality develop on its own, rather than trying to force or control it, as a result of your changed mindset. To live as if your wishes are already fulfilled, you need to have faith and keep going, even when it's tough. It can be challenging to stay aware when your situation feels different from how you want to feel. This is where using your imagination becomes important. When you often visualize scenarios where your desires are already achieved, you enhance your ability to keep this new mindset. Think about wanting to be in a caring relationship. Living as if your wish is already fulfilled means thinking, feeling, and acting, like someone who is already in that relationship. Even when you're by yourself, you may experience feelings of warmth and friendship. You may find yourself smiling without knowing why, feeling loved and valued. You might have kind and loving talks with your imagined partner in your mind. Make these imagined actions as clear and real to you as you can. Use all your senses. Experience the feelings that come with getting what you want. The more vivid you can create it in your mind, the stronger effect it will have on your subconscious and, in turn, your outside reality. Living in the wish fulfilled means accepting reality and acknowledging your current situation, not avoiding it or pretending it doesn't exist. It's about deciding what part of reality you focus on and invest your energy in. When you keep your attention on the reality you want to have, your thoughts, feelings, and actions start to match that reality. This alignment helps your desire become real in the physical world. A challenge in following this principle is handling doubt and disbelief. It's normal for a logical mind to doubt this method, particularly when outside situations appear to go against what you want. This is where sticking with it matters. Neville Goddard frequently highlighted how crucial it is to keep going with your imagination until it becomes reality. If you start to doubt, calmly focus your mind back on the feeling of having what you desire. Remember that where you are now comes from what you thought and believed before. By changing how you think today, you can create a new reality for yourself. Believe in the journey and take your time. The path to achieving your desire starts to form as soon as you feel that your wish has come true. Living in the wish fulfilled means changing how you see yourself. Imagine yourself as the person who already possesses what you want. This may involve releasing past self-images and accepting a new view of who you are. Your past and present situation do not limit you. You are a changing person who can change your reality using your mind. When you start to live as if your wishes are already fulfilled, you might notice a change in how you see life. 
you might start to notice how your thoughts and feelings can create change. You might begin to notice chances and connections that you didn't see before. This is all about getting your mind in sync with the reality you want. Living in the wish fulfilled goes beyond just bringing material things into your life. This idea can be used in many areas of life, such as personal growth, relationships, and spiritual development. If you think about the person you want to be, you start to take on those traits and draw in experiences that match that mindset. Living in the wish fulfilled means taking charge of your ability to create. Your awareness is the basis of your reality. By intentionally selecting your state of awareness, you can influence your life experience. It's a powerful and uplifting way to look at life that can bring about amazing changes. As you start this practice, keep in mind to enjoy it and have fun. Don't push or fight to get things done. Instead, enjoy the feeling of having your wish come true. Have faith in the process and let your wishes develop at their own pace. The universe can fulfill your wishes in countless ways, often surprising you with how much better it can be than you imagined. Living in the wish fulfilled is more than just a technique for manifesting. It's a lifestyle. It's about imagining your desired outcome and feeling the happiness of it right now no matter what's happening around you. When you understand this principle, your life will turn into an exciting journey of creating and discovering yourself. You are in charge of your life story and can create any chapter you want. Dream big, believe it, and live confidently as if your wishes have come true. Final Lesson Neville Goddard Teaching The world we see around us is connected to our inner reality. The outside world clearly shows what we think and believe inside ourselves. Neville Goddard's teachings focus on a key idea. We can shape our reality using our imagination and feelings. Think back to the last time you felt really upset. What did the world look like to you back then? It's likely that nothing went as planned. People were unkind, traffic was heavy, and nothing seemed to go your way. Think of a moment when you felt really happy and hopeful. Out of nowhere, the world turned into a nicer place. People smiled at you, chances came your way, and life felt smooth and easy. This is not just a coincidence or a matter of seeing what you want to see. Your inner world shapes your outer reality. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs shape how you see and experience the world around you. Your thoughts affect how you see things, guide what you do, and decide the experiences and situations you face in life. Grasping this principle is important because it gives you the ability to create change yourself. If you're unhappy with what's happening around you, the answer isn't to fight against the outside world, but to shift your inner feelings. Neville Goddard frequently stated, if you change how you see yourself, the world around you will change too. How does this work, exactly? Your inner conversations, the thoughts and talks you have with yourself every day are always shaping your outer world. Your inner conversations are not just random talk. They are strong creative forces that influence your reality. Consider what you often tell yourself. Do you often find yourself criticizing your actions, concentrating on what you lack, or thinking about mistakes you've made in the past? Do you motivate yourself, recognize your strengths, and anticipate future achievements? Your inner thoughts are like seeds you put in the rich soil of your subconscious mind. Like seeds planted in a garden, they will grow and produce results in your life. Being aware of your inner conversations is very important. When you think negatively about yourself or have a pessimistic outlook, you are teaching your subconscious mind to bring more of that into your life. When you focus on positive and encouraging thoughts, you create a foundation for good changes in your life. However, it involves more than just thinking positively. True strength comes from emotions. Neville Goddard highlighted that emotions play a key role in making things happen. It's not enough to just think positively. You need to truly feel what you want to achieve. When you genuinely feel that your desire has already come true, you connect your whole self with that reality, and the outside world must follow suit. This leads us to an important point in Goddard's teachings. Everyone you encounter is a reflection of yourself. This idea might seem a bit tough to understand initially, but it is essential for improving your relationships and interactions with others. Everyone you meet in life shows you something about your own mind. 
how people treat you, how they respond to you, and even how they seem to you all reflect your own beliefs, expectations, and assumptions about them and yourself. This doesn't imply that others lack their own awareness or freedom to choose. Your experience of them is shaped by your own awareness. You observe them and engage with them according to your thoughts on their identity and expected actions. If you think that people are usually untrustworthy, you will probably have experiences that support this idea. You could draw in untrustworthy individuals, or you might see harmless behaviors as indications of dishonesty. If you believe that people are basically good and trustworthy, you are likely to have experiences that support this belief. Grasping this principle allows you to significantly improve your relationships and interactions with others. Rather than attempting to change others directly, you can alter how you view them in your mind. As you proceed, you will start to notice changes in how they act around you. This doesn't mean you should overlook or dismiss negative behavior in others. This means you take charge of how you feel about others and see that you can change those feelings using your own thoughts and emotions. To practice this principle, you need to change how you look at things. Rather than viewing yourself as a victim of what others do or say, you start to see yourself as the one who shapes your own experiences. The ability to improve your relationships and interactions comes from you, not from trying to control or manipulate others. This understanding can feel very freeing. It allows you to stop trying to change others and helps you concentrate on changing yourself. Your outside world will start to show the changes happening inside you. The outside world is just a mirror of what's happening inside you. Your consciousness creates everything you see, hear, and experience. To change your life, you need to change how you think. This is where imagination becomes powerful. Your imagination helps you change your inner world, which in turn affects your outer reality. When you use your imagination to clearly picture and feel the reality you want, you are changing your subconscious mind and starting the process that will make that reality happen. This is not about pushing or fighting against something. It's about letting things be and embracing them. When you genuinely sense that your desire is already achieved, you move into a place of acceptance and thankfulness. In this state, you easily think, speak, and act in ways that match your desire without any effort or stress. Neville Goddard was referring to the idea of experiencing your desires as if they have already come true. It's about being honest and true to yourself. It's about completely accepting and living the reality you want right now in your mind and your emotions. While you practice this, you might notice that your surroundings don't change right away. This is where belief and determination play a role. Your current situation comes from what you thought and imagined in the past. New ideas need time to grow and show up in your life. Keep your new state of awareness no matter what your senses are saying around you. This is the real test of belief, not in an outside force, but in your own mind's ability to shape your reality. As you keep doing this practice, you will start to notice changes around you. Initially, these changes may be small, a change in how people react to you, new opportunities coming up, or an overall feeling of things moving more smoothly. As you keep living in your desired state, these changes will become clearer and more noticeable. By doing this regularly, you will notice changes in your surroundings. Your inner world shapes your outer reality, and you will see this for yourself. This realization brings the greatest freedom, the freedom to build the life you really want, starting from within.